Carlaw Park. The spiritual home of New Zealand Rugby League, where teams like Ponsonby Ponies and City Newton Dragons took to the field of battle. And epic after match functions. Keep the legend of Carlow Park alive, the fortress of physical and constant punishment, where league players push their bodies to the limit for a full 80 minutes. No interchange, only two reserves, and then went to their day job Monday morning. An arena famous for its epic battles. A footy field littered with broken noses, arms, cheekbones and ribs. And that was just Mark Graham at half time. Carlow Park, the spiritual home of New Zealand Rugby League, where you played hard for your teammates, your club, you played for pride. No video ref, and the boots got Donny Mann with him, number 10 there, but he slips a little out to Dennis Williams. Williams there, going for the line, runs right into Fulton, right into Fulton, there's Fulton Williams still going. About two yards from the line with Christian to play it out. Christian with the ball, Henry Tadler going for the line, number eight. And the big prop is thrown back by Australia, about three yards from the Australian line. And the referee said that was the fourth tackle and we'll have another scrum. Five yards out from the Australian line. Australian halfback Grant to put the ball in. Very greasy part of Carlaw Park. One by here, Auckland out to Willard. Willard's got Williams with him. There's Willard, number six, going alone. He can't get through there. Quidditch behind him to play dummy half. Tony Quidditch, well, he'll go, he'll go left to Ray Williams and Williams is through. Williams is through for a tie for Auckland. Carlopark diehards.co.nz